guys and welcome back to our channel. Today I'm filming our newborn necessities video. Paul's here but he's behind me taking care of our baby. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. If you've watched us before, we live in a one bedroom apartment. Um, we're pretty secluded to just our room. So this is probably more so like a minimalist what you need for your newborns video. Cause I'm sure if we had like our living room, dining room, like stuff like that, we might utilize a couple more things. But this is the the bare minimum that you need for taking care of a newborn, at least for us. So the first thing is a bassinet. I'll put a picture right here of the bassinet that we have. You can kind of see it in the background. We have the Ingenuity bassinet. So it's pretty big. It's bigger than the standard bassinet. Low, this has been obviously Good for us because we don't have a whole lot of room for a crib nor do I think that you really need a crib when the baby's in your room anyways in our bassinet we have a snuggle me for me I think that this is a necessity because our child likes to feel like snug so when we were laying him in just the bassinet he didn't like it he was waking up whenever he would move around it would almost startle him so he was not sleeping well and then once we put the snuggle me inside and have him like sleep in it because it's kind of cradled then he's he did a lot better throughout the night so I'll put a picture of the snuggle me here another thing I think is essential is having a little basket by the side of your bed that has diapers wipes butt cream burp cloths maybe a blanket binkies because especially in the middle of the night or if you're the only one taking care of your baby at the time it's hard to just ask someone to go fetch whatever you need especially if there's no one there so having that all by your bed is good to have we um don't have a diaper changing station in our room i just change him on my bed there's in the past month been one instance where he's peed or pooped on my bed so it doesn't like happen often when we change his diaper we slide a new one right underneath so even if he does start pooping as we're pulling away the old one it's right on top of a new one you definitely need some burp cloths i would say like at least like four that way if there's any that are getting dirty you can wash them and always have some clean ones just a couple blankets unless you live somewhere that's colder but we live in florida so Definitely invest in some good swaddles. I'll put a picture of the swaddle that our baby boy likes right here. I don't know off the top of my head what it's called. You need a humidifier. We got ours on Amazon. It was on our baby registry. I'll put a picture of that here. Um, this is just for like if they're, what, to like keep them from getting stuffy, baby? The, right? What? The humidifier? Yeah. So Paul's favorite essential item that we have is the nose Frida. It looks like a little tube. I'll put a picture of it here. And you put the the end of the nozzle, it almost looks like a crayon, in the baby's nose and then you suck it out. But it's definitely come in handy. He gets stuffy pretty often, which is normal for newborns. And he's gotten some big boogers out of using that thing because you can't like stick anything up there. There's like that'd be hard to actually get something out of their nose because the hole is so tiny. So get yourself a nose, Frida. If you are a breastfeeding mom, definitely recommend getting a breast pump, an electric breast pump and a manual breast pump. Another thing to go along with my pump is I use a nursing pumping bra. I didn't even know that I needed this until I didn't have it because I was feeding him on one side and I feed him on that one side until he's completely done eating, so for like 30 to 40 minutes. And on the other side, I was pumping, but I would have to sit here and like hold my pump onto my breast until um, it was done, which was difficult because for some reason when I'm holding it, like either I have to keep readjusting it for my milk to come out, or if he would get fussy, I had to reposition him. You have to like turn the settings down put the bottle away, then it, it was just annoying. So a company actually reached out to us called Mom Cozy and they sent me a list of their products and I saw that they had a nursing pumping bra on there and I was like, okay, thank God this was like meant to be. So I went with the just plain nursing pumping bra. I'll show you guys how it works. But another thing that it came with though is these nursing 
pad covers. And what I like about these ones, because I already have some that are just cloth, is that the back of it is almost like waterproof. Whereas my other ones, it blocks the milk for so long and then they get soaked and then it soaks my shirt too. Whereas with these, it doesn't come through. This side is soft, this side is the more waterproof one. So I'll show you guys like how it works. I'm gonna put one of these in so you don't like see anything. Alrighty, so there is a slit of fabric right here. So you slip the pump in. Again, I have a nursing cover underneath so it's not like you guys are gonna see anything. You pull the second flap of fabric over and then it, it holds it in place. So you can literally move around and it's all good. So thank you, Mom Cozy, for sending us these products. I will link their page down below on Amazon and also the bra that I ordered. It's just nice to be able to pump, put some milk in a bottle for late at night or if you're on the go or you just want a break from breastfeeding. Um, Paul actually just fed baby boy from a bottle with my breast milk, but it allowed me to like set up to do this video, do my makeup, get ready, that sort of thing. Along with that, we have the, what are these, the Komodo bottles? I'll put a picture. What? It's Komo Tomo. Komo Tomo? Komodo. <laughs> Please keep that in there. <laughs> Komo Tomo bottles. These are the four ounce ones. I've been actually using, or five ounce, these, we've been using the eight ounce bottles recently because he's been eating a lot. So um, these are definitely good for when they're like really little. He's just a chunky boy, so he's already advancing to the eight ounce bottles, but these are good for acid reflux and they've just been like nice in general. I think the shape of it is good. It's almost like the shape of a boob, so. He likes these a lot, I highly recommend these. You will also need diapers and wipes. I don't have, we actually ran out of my favorite wipes for him. I think they're the Pampers Pure, they're like 99% water. Those are my favorite wipes so far. And then the Pampers Swaddlers. He's already in a size one. So just for reference, when he was born, he was seven pounds, 11 ounces. And now he's 10 pounds, eight ounces. So for the past two weeks, he's been in a size one diaper and they fit him fine. But for the first two weeks, he was in newborn diapers. For him, he goes through anywhere from like seven to 10 diapers a day. So factor that in and, and make sure that you have enough of each. I thought that we had enough newborn diapers when he first came home and I had to buy another pack that he went through because he wasn't big enough to fit in these. Get yourself some butt paste. We used binkies from the day he was born because we just wanted to and it's helped out a lot. He likes these the best. They're the Bibs binkies. They look like this. These stay in his mouth the best. We also have the Philips Avent, I think. I'll put a picture of them here. Uh, binkies and I mean, he'll take them, but these stay in his mouth the best. The other ones, he spits them out a lot. And these are all like BPA free and all that jazz. You'll also need baby wash slash baby shampoo and lotion. We've been using the baby, baby Ganics lotion and um, body wash. It's fragrance free, non-allergenic, pediatrician and dermatologist tested, but we like these a lot. He hasn't had any bad reaction to them, so we'll probably keep using that. And you will also need a diaper bag. I have the Fawn Design Mini Diaper Bag. If you want to know what's inside of my diaper bag, I'll link that video down below. Another thing you'll need is a car seat. I actually have the camera on the stroller right now, so I can't show you guys. We have the Chico 3-in-1 car seat and stroller, so I would say that's pretty essential. You definitely need a car seat. And it's nice to have the stroller to like take him out on walks. I did that yesterday because Paul set up the stroller and it was nice to just get out of the house. You will also need a bottle drying rack. We have one in our bathroom. It's a portable case. I will put a picture of it right here. And um, that has been really nice to just have in our bathroom to quickly clean bottles, let them dry, use them again. These helped us out a lot initially. I think we got his reflux and like tummy issues under control now, 
but initially we were using these gas drops. They are the Mommy's Bliss gas drops. They look like this. You'll need a thermometer. You will need baby nail clippers. Their nails are like so sharp and long. They grow really fast. I actually like bit his nails off the first couple times because I was afraid to cut them when he was like super, super tiny. I mean, he's still tiny, but when he was like brand new because I was scared. But now I, I clip them when he's sleeping and I haven't cut him yet, so. Another thing that we absolutely love is the Snooza Hero. Right, baby? That's what yeah. it's called? It's a little device, I'll put a picture of it here, that you clip onto their diaper and Karen actually told us about this from KK and Baby J. You clip it onto their diaper and if it doesn't detect any breathing for 15 seconds, it vibrates, the, like the device vibrates to kind of startle them and wake them up and it sets off an alarm. And if it doesn't detect breathing for another five seconds, a louder alarm goes off to obviously get your attention. It was $100 versus the Owlette, that's 300 so that has been just a really like nice peace of mind. And when it's on their diaper, it has a flashing green light for every time it, it he's breathing. So, I mean, in the middle of the night, you're a new parent. It's just like scary to think about, but when it's dark, we just look over, see the green light, and it's a peace of mind. Another thing too is the bottle warmer. A lot of times, like I will just pump milk and just leave it out. It, breast milk that's expressed can stay out for anywhere from like four to eight hours. So if it's within that time frame, we'll just give it to him and he doesn't have any issues with it. But if we do put a bottle in the fridge, obviously like you don't want to give your baby freezing cold milk. So we use a bottle warmer. I'll put a picture of ours here. Super easy. The other thing too is a sound machine. We don't have a sound machine. We have Alexa. She's going to go off. Wow. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> okay. Um, but we use her to just play like white noise or rain sounds, whatever, and it works. But um, if you don't have Alexa, try not play <laughs> Then get a sound machine. The other thing you will need are some washcloths to wash your baby and a little bathtub thing for them to sit in, whether it's in the sink or the bathtub. I'll put a picture of the one that we have here and this has been working great for him. He's comfortable in it. He loves bath time. So <laughs> hi. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. This is my newborn essentials video. We still have a ton of stuff in our garage that we're going to set up when we move, but right now we're pretty tight on space. So this is very minimalist of the essentials that you need. I do breastfeed bends, so some of the stuff that I use if you are formula feeding your baby or you're, you're planning on it or you end up having to formula feed, you may not need or use. So if you're a mom and your baby was formula fed, whether it was right away or eventually throughout when they were younger, leave any tips or essential items that you use down below for those moms looking for those answers because I don't have them, at least yet. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, <laughs> subscribe, turn your notifications on, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Both will be in the description box below. And we will see you in our next video. Bye.